Hello and welcome to the Blizzard Gaming Channel. Today I'm going to be doing the Blades of the Fallen Prince uh, Frost Death Knight Artifact Weapon. Now we got Frost Reaper and Ice Springer, one hand and an off hand. The legendary Frost Morn, even four years after its destruction within Ice Crown Citadel, remains one of the most infamous weapons in all of Azeroth. With a bit of necromantic power, the broken shards could be reforged into a set of rune blades that have the, the, the potential to be as powerful as the predecessor, if not surpass it entirely. Equipping this gives you the crystalline sword ability which unleashes floating swords in the air that will impale your enemy. That sounds really cool. Blades of Destiny. A powerful presence again touches your thoughts. I have ordered your brethren to Ice Crown to prepare for the <clears throat> for the coming conflict, but I have a more important fate in mind for you. You, Lich Lord X, will be the hand of our vengeance. Use the Death Gate to return to Arceus and shall reveal your role in this. Use the Death Gate ability to travel to Ice Crown and obtain the Blades of the Fallen Prince. Naxxoramus is right next to it. Stage 1, the call of the north. So the Lich King shows you to be his foe. I'm not surprised. We have all heard of your exploits. Our forces have gathered from all across Northland. When the call to action comes, and it will come soon, the Knights of the Epic Blade will be ready. Make no mistake. We are not bound to this new Lich King. However, he may prove a valuable ally against the Legion. For now, our goals align with his. And in the meantime, it is in our best interest that the Scourge stay contained. The gates of Ice Crown lie to the north. Do not keep our ally waiting. All right, dickhead. We're already dead, idiot. <laughs> the transporter glimmers with a Christian light. Yeah, you don't want to get killed by that. I think it kills you. I'm not gonna find out. Oh, 
Oh, you son of a bitch. You know what? So it doesn't kill you, it just does a lot of damage. This place looks fucking sick. Wait. I think I was supposed to click on something. Yeah. Oh. Little fragments. That's pretty cool. Played much Frost Death Knight, but this is pretty cool. with Unholy Death Knight if you don't have any runes you're kind of screwed but with Frost Death Knight it's not like that because you still have uh, Frost Strike This isn't too hard. And okay.
Sick. Don't do it. What? An intruder? You won't stop me. Frostmorn will be mine. Nothing will stand in the way. Oh shit, we get to kill him? What the fuck? Okay. I see only darkness. Curse you, interloper. All my plans ruined. This is fucking trippy. Wow, they made it look so fucking cool in here. You have done well. Ascend to my throne and receive your charge. Wow. This is probably one of my favorites so far. Ice crown. The Lich King made a wise choice in giving you the blades, Lich Lord. You've more than proven yourself worthy of them. I have to admit, though, I'm glad it wasn't me. I'm through with having magical weapons dictate my fate. Well, that's good. 
more for me. Probably my favorite artifact quest. Uh, definitely. I mean, come on, Lich King, you become like one of his. It's kind of sad that you have to kill Arthas again. Uh, that's not very cool. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash blizzardgaming8 and on Twitch, twitch.tv slash blizzardgaming8. And until next time, peace out.